Bring it in, 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 bring it in. So I wanna, I wanna talk to you guys real quick. First of all, salute to every single one of y'all out there, whether you love the content, hate the content, watch it religiously, or don't watch it at all. I just wanna address a couple things concerning narratives, opinions, and fact. Battle rap is an opinionated sport where people have their opinions, they will say what they feel, and at the end of the day, nobody's really wrong for their opinion. You know, that's how you feel. There's really no judging systems unless there's polls that say people judge or unless the battle is judged. It is all opinionated and this comes down to Murder Move versus Tay Rock. So, I had a conversation with Tay Rock and I knew what was going on because we were on FaceTime. And I simply said, initially, that you're going against a killer. I hope that you're prepared. And these, and some of the things that I said to him are things that I said in blogs. I specifically said, what performance has Mook had that proved he was better than what you've done in the last 10 years? I said this in blogs, so I don't understand how this is big news and big business now. I also made a blog saying that I don't know if the other card battles that are on the card should have been on this card and that I thought that it should have went from the face off straight to the battle. That is my opinion. You see what I'm saying? Opinion. It's, it's just what I think. What I think does not have anything to do with the ultimate outcome of the battle. There are people who feel every single way that you can possibly feel. There are people feeling one person won. There are people feeling that the other person won. There are polls that say one person won. There are polls that say another person won. As bloggers and things like that, we speak, we jump on live streams, we talk to battlers all the time. That's what happens. Now, when the words are taken and twisted and, re and regurgitated to say that I was creating a false narrative. These blogs never came out. These blogs didn't happen. These blogs did not happen. I told him he was going against a killer. He also told me that whether I feel like he got it or not, he thanked for the support. Now, if you don't like an MC, that's your personal preference. For whatever reason you don't like them, that's your business. It doesn't have nothing to do with the ultimate outcome of their battle. You know what I'm saying? A narrative is me saying whether you won or lost, I'm going to say you won anyway. It doesn't matter. I'm just going to say you won anyway. I never said nothing like that. That was never said. Showtime SP, salute to my partner. He does what he do and I'm proud of everything that he's accomplished. Has his own viewpoint of the battle. This is what happens with every single battle. He has his opinion. He can feel like who he felt like won a battle and that just be the end of it. You see what I'm saying? I don't really realize or understand what's the big, big commotion about an opinion. It's not a narrative being driven. I never said, yo, regardless of what happens, man, I'm just gonna give it to this person, woo, 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 woo. That never happened with me. Now, I appreciate all the people that reach out with the support and you know, they say, you know, this is stupid and things like that, but it has to be spoken about and it has to be addressed. I have no issue with it, you know what I'm saying? People can say what they want, they can push how they feel, they can say, oh, fuck Vada, yada, 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 I get it, true. You know, it is what it is, yeah, fuck Vada. Blame me for whatever the case may be. Now, Showtime SP and I, we've spoken about a bunch of different things, how he saw things, how I saw things, and it's cool. When we do the bar breakdown, we may have different winners. It is what it is. But to sit there and to fix it as I was trying to push a winner or say somebody won when people feel like they didn't win and things like that in an opinionated sport. Narratives, opinions, facts. So who's Bill Collector? Bill, Bill Collector said, what if I told y'all I never even saw the battle and I just said Tay Rock won just to troll y'all? You know what I'm saying? Like that's a narrative to say somebody won when they didn't win. But that's what he, he was joking like that. And I just don't understand where you could take a word, some of those words, flip them, remix them, and now blame it to the, oh, we hate you. Now, you know, I understand that, and to all of the fans out there, I truly appreciate it, but let's make some more narratives. Ill Will just had a battle yesterday versus Miss Miami, where he did phenomenal. Any battle Yorana on the same card, if that battle comes out and he did what he did versus Yorana, Ill Will should be placed with Midwest royalty as one of the greats. Like, 
I think that his stature needs to be elevated. We need to push that narrative. B-Dot had a phenomenal performance in his battle versus Home Seat of God. He did his numbers. Why are we, we not talking about that? We're not talking about B-Dot? Like, we, this is what we're talking about? We're talking about narratives? When people talk to battle rappers on live streams and on camera and all this other shit every day, but just because it's me talking to somebody that you may not like, that creates a driven agenda. There's no agenda. When, when Tay Rock lost against Daylight, I let him know. I recapped it. He had no issue with me saying that he lost the battle because I felt that way. That's just how I feel. There's no compromise in saying that. But I really think more attention should be driven towards the B-Dots of the world. I feel like he should have the love, the admiration, the bigger battles to push him to that next level because he has been having a phenomenal year and so has Ill Will. These guys are wilding for a living. They're going crazy. Are we focused on the battles or are we focused on just the, the niggas with channels, you know what I'm saying? The media, the bloggers and things like that. So, Shannon Sharp, for instance, this is a great example. Um, he's a huge LeBron fan. We know that. Every team LeBron goes to, he's, he's wearing the goat mask. He's coming in with the, with the robe on. He's calling them Goat James. He's saying that, that they're going to sweep Miami. That What has Miami done? Miami hasn't really done anything in, all, in the last couple of years. Basically saying that Miami doesn't have a chance to win. Miami loses to the Lakers. Was it Shannon Sharp pushing a narrative? No, it was just his opinion. That's all it was. And then his opinion became a fact. Murder Mook did good, phenomenal, great versus Tay Rock. His third round was magical. He danced, he showed. That was all I, and the funny thing is I said this in blogs. Nothing that people are saying is nothing that I haven't said on my own. Just because it comes up in a conversation, it's just an opinion. Simple as, as it may be. At the end of the day, I had a conversation with Matt Hoffa yesterday. Uh, he hit me up. He has a, a product that he's promoting, a product that he's promoting called Friday Night Fights, which is going to be a battle league amongst people. And we talked about a lot of things. He told me how he felt about the battle. He told me who his winner was, and we spoke about different things. And we never spoke about narratives or push you know what i'm saying like but but we did speak about i said before the battle math office said murder mook's material was a nine while tay rock is a two now if we're trying to sway fans wouldn't one say that going into the battle you're looking for somebody's material to be a two you know what i'm saying so and, and, and even with that being said we had our agree we agreed to different things and i salute and respect everything that he has going on and I respect perspectives. But to go back, I'm not going back and forth with this person and that person about how they feel, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is at the end of the day. But, you know, I, I never knew that an opinion, you can't have an opinion about something. My opinion was, what performance has he, I, I've seen Tay Rock in all of these battles and I haven't seen much of Murder Mook. He came out, he did his thing. Let's have that. You know, he, he gets that respect. He gets that admiration. But at the end of the day, it is what it is, man. I appreciate, I salute, and I respect everybody who checks out the content. But for me, this I'm not going back and forth into this. You know what I'm saying? It is what it is. I spoke to him. He said whether I felt like he won or he lost, he respected it and accepted it. That's what it is. He don't tell me, oh, you got to say I won. Nobody does no shit like that. It never happens and it never will. But other than that, y'all have a wonderful day. You already know what to do. Yeah.